something to deal with fibroids, uterine leiomyomas. We are going to look at their cause, uh, complications, and symptoms. Uterine fibroids are non cancerous growth of the uterus that often appear during the childbearing age, also known as leiomyomas or myomas. Uterine fibroids aren't associated with any increased risk of uterine cancer and almost never develop into cancer. Fibroids do range in size from seedlings and detectable by the human eye to bulky masses that can distort and enlarge the uterus. A woman may have a single fibroid or multiple. In extreme cases, multiple fibroids can expand the uterus to reach the rib cage and can add weight. Types of fibroids. The type of fibroid a woman develops depends on its location in or on the uterus. Number one, there are those known as intramural fibroids. These intramural fibroids are most common type of fibroid and they appear within the muscular wall of the uterus. Intramural fibroids may grow larger and can stretch the wound. Then there are others known as subcellular fibroids. This form on outside of the uterus which is called the cellosa. They may grow large enough to make your womb appear bigger on one side. There are those known as pedunculated fibroids. This one develop a stalk. Usually they are known as intracavity fibroids. Subcellular tumor can develop a stem, a slender base that supports the tumor. When they do, that's when we call them pedunculated fibroids. They may grow inside the uterus and appear in the womb or outside the uterus. Then we also have, have submucosal fibroids. Submucosal fibroids are tumors developed in the middle muscle layer or the myometrium of the uterus. Submucosal tumors aren't as common as other types. They have numerous symptoms and the, these symptoms of fibroids, they include the following and sometimes they may depend on the size, location and the number. Number one common symptom is heavy menstrual bleeding in many women. Menstrual periods lasting more than a week. Pervic pressure or pain. Frequent urination. Difficult emptying the bladder. Constipation may also be a symptom of fibroids. Back and leg pain. Pain during sexual intercourse. Dyspareunia. Pressure or fullness in the lower abdomen. What are some of the probable causes of fibroids? Uh, the classical cause may not be known, however, they are linked to hormones or estrogen and progesterone, two hormones that stimulate development of the lining during each menstrual cycle in preparation for pregnancy appear to promote the growth of fibroids. And it is found out that fibroids have more oestrogen receptors compared to other tissues within the uterus. Fibroids, as I've told you, contain more oestrogen and progesterone receptors than the typical uterine muscle cells do. Therefore, these fibroids tend to shrink after menopause due to decrease in hormone production. There are some genetic changes. Uh, many fibroids contain changes in the genes that differ from those in typical uterine muscle cells. Other growth factors may also influence the growth of fibroids. Substances that help the body they maintain tissues such as insulin like growth factor may affect fibroid growth family history fibroids may also run in the family if your mother sister or grandmother have the history of this condition you may develop it as well there is also extracellular matrix ECM is a material that makes cells stick together like mortar between bricks ECM is increased in fibroids and makes them fibrous there are individuals who are at risk of developing fibroid women are at greater risk for developing fibroid if they have one or more of the following risky factors. Pregnancy, a family history of fibroids. If your age is 30 and above, you may be at risk. African American, a high body weight and obesity. Early men are key. You go into your menstrual periods at an early age. Then you take long to give birth. You start giving birth at 35 years. Those are 20 years of exposure. 25 years of exposure to oestrogen and therefore there are higher chances of developing fibroids because as we've seen that fibroids have more oestrogen receptors and progesterone sometimes they may be genetic abnormalities they increase the risk high blood pressure vitamin d deficiency and also excessive consumption of alcohol they have some complications infertility as you've seen the fibroids some of them they may block the uterus lining the sperms may not be able to move to reach the fallopian tubes where fertilization takes place and they also may interfere with 
implantation like the intracavity fibroid they occupy the space where the baby has to develop from as you can see there then they also lead to chronic pelvic pain and also discomfort thank you for watching health and medicine video we appreciate what you've done uh we request you to share you like our videos uh hit the notification button and our number as usual 0783 6867 thank you